Hey guys, Avery here with Skips Tactical Solutions, and I'm here with another episode of Talk to Me Thursday. As you guys join, please let me know where you're joining from. And first things first, happy holidays. I have a couple of announcements tonight, and the live tonight will not be very long. So if you guys have questions, make sure that you post your questions below, and I will try to not keep you too long tonight. Um, I will be announcing the winner of the Instagram giveaway. I will also be announcing a couple of other giveaways, and we're going to talk about cleaning supplies. I was going to say products for cleaning, but we're going to be talking cleaning supplies. And if you're on the live, make sure that you share the video. So the program that I use is a tad bit behind. And there for a second, I thought it was just me here with my lonesome because it was not showing anyone else. So how is everyone? I also want to give a shout out to a couple of folks. I'm trying to find the name, I apologize. All right, so I'm tripping for a second, but I do have a couple of people that I do want to give a shout out to. Um, and we are going to first start talking about cleaning supplies. Who is your favorite company when it comes to cleaning supplies? I want to hear what you guys use and what you choose to not use and probably why you choose to not use it. And if you're joining us from Instagram, please let us know that you're joining from Instagram. Hello, Constance. How are you? And how was everyone's week? All right. Sorry, guys. I found it. So I want to give a really quick shout out to Mario from our last YouTube live. He gave me a $10 super chat. So thank you so much. I did not see it last week but I had to come on and tell him thank you because I really, really appreciate it. So if you guys don't know, um, my YouTube channel is now monetized. So he gave me a super chat. So that is for the individuals who are watching the video, they can donate certain amounts of money in super chat. So I will definitely be giving those individual shout outs and I do apologize that I did not see that one last week. But how is everyone? I think this is probably gonna be our last live for 2019. I have to say that I am saddened that this is our last one. So George says, I use slip 2000 on everything. Is there anyone in here that does not use cleaning supplies at all? And maybe you don't use it because you don't know what to use. Hello, Patrick, metal detecting, and hello, Second Amendment. Thank you. And I'm sorry that I had to reschedule the live from last night. I had to reschedule it because I had a holiday party to go to. So I was able to get all dressed up and go to a holiday party, which was nice. And as always, thank you so much, Yarn Dragons, for holding it down and moderating for me. You have been a lifesaver. Uh, Richard, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so when it comes to cleaning supplies, there are a lot of different cleaning supplies that are out there on the market. And I will share with you guys the company that I use, but don't take it that I'm trying to sell you anything, but I will educate you on what I use and why I use them 
And if some of you all are using other products, feel free to share that in the comments as well, because there is not one product for everyone. So Hobbs 9, excuse me. So I use Breakthrough Clean Technologies. Is there anyone here in the live that has never heard of Breakthrough Clean? Excuse me. And after I finished talking about pretty much Breakthrough Clean Technologies and how to clean your firearm, I will be giving away a sample product. So make sure that you share this video and stick around for that giveaway. Um, something else that I want to talk to you all about really quickly is my YouTube, and I kind of want feedback from you all. So before I talk about that, my my YouTube lives are going to change. So YouTube has implemented that you can no longer show firearms on live streams. So I don't know if you all have heard that, but yes, that is the new rule that YouTube has came out with. So it makes it a tad bit tricky when I'm doing these lives now because I will not be able to show you guys a lot of things that I'm talking about. And I like to, like tonight when it came to cleaning a pistol, I would have rather showed you guys how to clean the pistol, like the different parts that you actually need to clean on the pistol versus me just talking around the cleaning product. So if you guys have any idea on how we can kind of structure these lives, because I'm thinking about just canceling the lives, because if I can't really show you how to do some of these things, it's kind of hard to talk around it. Like some of it, you really just need to see it. So if you have any ideas, I'm open to all ideas. But right now I'm really thinking about just canceling the lives because it just makes it so much harder. Like every idea that I have for a live tonight was just like, oh yeah, I can't do that. Can't do that either. So I will try to make this pretty much the best that I can. But I wanted to talk to you all about that because it is going to be a lot harder. And if you have ideas, I would love to hear them. and. I'm going to break down some cleaning products for you. And if you guys have questions, please type them in the comments below and I will try to get to them. But you know that I can't do too much shopping because I got a lot of squirrel moments and you guys don't like squirrel moments. <laughs> All right, so cleaning supplies. First things first, I wanna talk about why it is important to clean your firearm. Anyone know why it's important to clean your firearm? Please drop it down in the comment below. Um, when I'm talking about cleaning your firearm, it's extremely important. I've had a lot of people say, oh, I'll never clean my gun or I wait until it fails. And when it comes to a firearm that you're using for personal protection, that is not the thing to do. It may be cool to some people, but when I spend my hard earned money on a product such as a firearm, I'm definitely not going to keep running it and running it until something gets so dirty, you know, carbon starts to cake up, whatever, and then now it fails. So JH said function. You want it to actually be able to function because if it's dirty, then there's a possibility that it won't function. And that's just not something that I want to fail. So talking about cleaning is extremely important and it doesn't have to be like 100% scrub down every single time, but a quick wipe down each time will definitely help it. And just don't, don't neglect your firearm. I call it my equalizer and it's a lifeline for me. And it's going to be something that I'm going to take care of and I'm not going to neglect it. All right. So a squad said, clean your firearm is the best way to keep your firearms reliability on point. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Belty Cat, hello and Merry Christmas to you as well. So when it comes to cleaning your firearm, you want to go to an area that you can pretty much lay everything out. And I like to use a cleaning mat. Some people like to use a towel. But for example, here is a cleaning mat. Oh, I... Um,
So this is nice because I can lay it down and I will not have to worry about getting whatever product I'm using on whatever surface I'm using. So I lay it down and I also will have a towel and it shows you here the product and what it, there's different ones, but I like this one. It shows you the product and gives you some details on it, but you can go and you can put down your cleaning mat. You put your cleaning mat down and now it's time to get to work. Another thing when it comes to your firearm that you use for personal protection, you want to make sure that um, nine times out of 10, it's going to be loaded, right? Whenever you go to clean your firearm, you want to unload it. And when you unload it, you want to put that loaded magazines just somewhere else. You don't want to have that live ammunition in the area while you're cleaning. All right. So let's just go ahead and set that to the side. And <clears throat> you got your cleaning products. You also want to have a lint-free cloth rag. And now I'm just going to go over some of the products. Pipe cleaners. Cleaning rod. Q-tips. And a toothbrush or brush like this. When I say toothbrush, no, we're not using our toothbrush that we should be using in our bathroom. We're just using a toothbrush, all right? And now we're going to talk about our cleaning supplies. <clears throat> I'm going to show you a package here. This is a package. Oh, actually. Something else that is very nice to have is a boar snake. And what you can do is you can use this and it can be ran for, not, sorry, it can be ran through your firearm and you just pull it out, all right? So it looks just like a snake and it has this end on it and you can drop it in and pull it out, all right? So this is a boar snake. And start with what, you, with what you have. When it comes to the boar snake, sorry. Uh, you can see here how it's used. <laughs> but here is one of the Breakthrough Clean Technologies cleaning kits. I will tell you it's really good to have a kit. When you have a kit, it is... Like this one's nice because it has some of the smaller product in there. And then this is something that you can throw. And it depends on, you know, if you have a smaller range bag, then you can throw it in your smaller range bag. And if you have a bigger one, you can throw it in your bigger one. But this is not big at all. Like, look at how small this is. My hand, it's small. And you should always have some sort of cleaning kit in your range bag. Another thing you want to have. Excuse me. I personally want to have a product that is just like this. Non-toxic. Oh, sorry. Is it backwards for you guys? No, you guys can see it. Non-toxic, odorless, and non-staining. How many of you have went to go clean your firearm and, and it was kind of like a dreaded process because of the smell? I've heard a lot of men and women talking about the fact that their spouse didn't necessarily like it when they cleaned or they had to go clean somewhere outside or somewhere else because the smell was bad. So for me, I definitely love my Breakthrough Clean Technologies. Um, you also want a pair of gloves to use. Whenever you're using these products, if you're using them and you're cleaning your gun, you're touching things, it's going to get on your hands. And if it gets on your hands, I don't know if you guys realize this, but things that get into your hands, right? It will seep into your pores and then now it's introduced into your system. So try to have some gloves on. And that's why I like something that's non-toxic 
because I don't have to worry about that really affecting me. And those of you who you would use CLP, you know how bad it smells and then you know it's pretty toxic. So check your cleaning product and look at the label and see if is it toxic or the smell, if it's something that you don't like, you know, now's the time that you can kind of check it out and switch to something else if you like to. Another um, kit is this type of kit. So this is another breakthrough clean, pistol cleaning kit. And what I like about these is, let me see if we can focus on it. If you can see this, it is for uh, the different calibers. So you have your nine mil, your 40 and your 45. That's really good because if you have a nine and a 40 or a nine and a 45, you don't have to worry about getting different cleaning kits, different products. So here is something that's very small, the size of my hand. You guys see how big that is? Not big at all. This can go on my range bag and I can always have this. And it, you know, if you have a safe, which you should have some sort of safe, it can go in your safe as well. And a cleaning kit like this. <clears throat> so the link for this one is below, but it comes, so this small kit comes with two brass rods, two brass rods, one handle, three bore brushes, and the bore brushes are for 38 cal slash nine mil, 40 cal or 45, and three cotton mops for the different calibers, one muzzle guard, one brass patch holder, three brass jags, patches, and one 12 milliliter bottle of the Battle Born High Purity Oil. So I really, really like how everything is included in this. And I mean, a lot of the things that I showed you earlier, they're in this kit. All right, so on the back, it shows you what is in the kit. And these, um, these are brass, and I like the fact that they're brass. They're gonna last longer. So this is Breakthrough Clean. They have all calibers that you can think of, and these are just, I just grabbed two. So I am actually a dealer for Breakthrough Clean, but I just grabbed two kits, and check out the website because we have quite a few that are in stock. But I just wanted to really talk to you about cleaning your firearm. All right. So how many people who are watching the live right now are actually, or how many people that are watching this video, it doesn't just have to be the live. How many of you own Glocks? And Diggity said, I use Breakthrough. I like that the smell isn't overpowering. Yes, I like that as well. Um, Second Amendment said, yes, it is always important to have Q-tips and things to clean your gun barrel out and also your lube because you don't want metal to me metal to metal rubbing against one another without lube. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing that. JH also adds that one thing I like to use while cleaning my gun is a dental pick. Yes. All right. So for those of you who have Glocks, have you ever used or noticed this product inside your gun case? And if you have noticed this product, do you use it and what is it used for? This product right here. Hey, Boss Hog, how are you? All right, so Diggity said, I have one, but never used it. Can anyone tell me what it is?
All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. So what you can do. So Glock sends the cleaning rods with their firearms, right? So in your case, you should have this cleaning rod. West Coast staff said clean the barrel. Yes. So you have your cleaning rod. And what you can do is I'm going to have my cleaning rod. And then I have my patch and rod patch. What you're going to do is you're going to fold your patch in half. Right? Fold it in half. <laughs> I wonder if. Sometimes it's hard to get these through. So you fold it in half and you guys see this opening. I knew it was gonna act up on the live and you can put it through here. Like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna run it through your barrel Make, you're gonna um, make sure that your barrel's clean. You don't wanna keep using a dirty one of these. You're gonna use it, it's gonna be dirty. You're gonna take it out and put a new one in, all right? Take it out, put a new one in. And you also have your brushes that are in here. You can screw them in down in here screw them in and voila now you can loosen up that carbon all with this all right and then with your q-tips we already talked about using your q-tips to clean and your pipe cleaners as well when it comes to pipe cleaners uh all of us i'm sure have used a pipe cleaner in our in our life before but what you can do is take it bend it a bit and you can get down in those hard to reach places and you can clean, all right? So I don't know why I can't say pipe cleaners tonight. <laughs> so pipe cleaners are very useful as well. You can get down in those hard to reach places. And I like using pipe cleaners on my rifles too. It makes it very easy to get down in there and clean. So with a pipe cleaner, I can use this part right here, right? And then once that's dirty, what I can do is now I can use this part. You guys know how I like to save money. <laughs> so one pipe cleaner can go a long way. So now then I can bend it here and use this part because this part isn't dirty. And then you can just keep using it. Or if you like to just bend it one time, clean it, throw it away. But I like to just keep using it and I'll bend it in certain places clean it out and then bend it in another place. All right. So it's really, really important for you to clean your firearm. And when it comes to that cleaning area, you want to have everything nice and tidy. I like to take my firearm apart and all my products are going to stay in that area. I'm going to have everything lined up neatly because when you're just taking things apart and kind of throwing them wherever, it makes it a little bit harder because what if something kind of rolls off the table or whatever surface you have it on? And then now you're looking for a detent, you're looking for your barrel or whatever it may be. So just go ahead and keep everything nice and neat and in that nice little space. All right. So I don't work with a lot of space. It's just like a little small area. I have my gloves on. I'm not doing anything else while I'm cleaning my firearm. When I'm cleaning my firearm, I'm not eating. I'm not doing anything. I'm just focused on cleaning my firearm, a quick wipe down, and I'm getting down in there. I'm getting that carbon out, and I am using my lubricant, and I'm also using my, I mean, my lubricant and my solvent. So you're going to use your solvent first, and... Here is a small bottle of the Breakthrough Clean Solvent. And then once you're done, you're going to move it up, all right? No one likes a dry gun. Dry guns often have malfunctions. You don't want a dry gun. You want a little bit of lubricant on your firearm, all right? And someone said it earlier. Let me see who said it earlier.
Second Amendment said you don't want metal to metal rubbing. So again, when it comes to all those areas that are gonna be metal, touching metal, you wanna make sure that you apply lubricant. When you're applying lubricant, you don't want to use a lot of lubricant, guys. When it comes to the lubricant, you just wanna use a small amount. And I like to just use, say, for instance, one squirt, and then you're using it generous, you're rubbing it generously all over so that you don't have to waste your product, all right? Do not waste your product. Save your money and your, your cleaning products will go a long way. Unless you're like me and one day the bottle got loose in your range bag. But I want to... So for everyone that's on here now, do you have any... Do you guys have any questions about cleaning your firearm? Hey, Chico, how are you? Thanks, Rude Rod. Yes, this is um, earlier. I sh are you talking um, West Coast apps? Are you talking about this? This is just a cleaning patch. Mm -hmm. And all you do is fold it in half. So when you're using a pit, when you're cleaning a pistol, your patch is going to be one of the bigger patches. And then when you're using, uh, sorry, when you're cleaning a rifle, it's going to be a smaller patch. Chico Y said, you guys better smash those thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks, Chico Wise. And if you guys are watching, I would love it if you would share the video. And we're about to have a giveaway here in a minute. But I just want to make sure. I only use, so when it comes to cleaning, I only use Breakthrough Clean Technologies. I used to use other things, but I only use Breakthrough Clean now. And when you're, so Antoine said, what about a brand new gun? When it comes to a brand new gun, you do want to always take it apart, inspect it before you shoot it. But sometimes they have um, grease on them that you kind of want to wipe down. You want to lube up your gun always because if your gun is dry, you may have issues at the range. You don't want a dry gun. But I've seen some people that will like take their, excuse me, their lube and like spray, spray, spray. You don't want to do that. A little bit goes a long way and it will be wasted if you spray it like that. Richard, I'm so glad you're able to join. All right, so no one seems to have questions, any more questions about lubricating and cleaning their firearm and the products that you can use. So like I said before, I use Breakthrough Clean Technologies. I use them because they are, this is a really good product and they have solvents, oils, and it is military, their uh, solvents military grade. They have some really good cleaning kits that are out there all different calibers. And I've had some of you on the live actually purchase some of the cleaning kits off my website. So thank you guys so much for doing that. But really good company, really good products. And you guys know how I am about connecting with companies. And if you're looking for a cleaning kit, you know, this cleaning kit is very sturdy. And it's something that I have in my range bag. And this company is also based out of Florida. Belty Cat, I do not have, um, I don't have a lot of experience when it comes to revolvers. 
All right, so for everyone who's on the live right now, you're in luck because guess what? I have a giveaway for you. Um, like I said before, I am a dealer for Breakthrough Clean and I'm all about you guys trying out these products just so you can fall in love, just like I have fell in love with them. So I don't want you to just take my word for it. I am giving away a sample. So no, this isn't sponsored or anyone else. I am giving you guys something that I purchased. So this is a sample of Breakthrough Clean. So all you have to do is type in clean in the comments below. All you have to do is type in clean, okay? So you will get a 0.5 fluid ounce, 15 milliliters sample of military grade solvent. So look how much this is. This will last you for a while. And then you will also get a sample of this HP Pro lubricant and protectant. And as you guys see, non-toxic, made in the US of A, okay? So if you want to be entered to win this, make sure you just type down in the comments below, clean. And you guys know I have to throw something else in with that, just because you guys are phenomenal. Oh, also throwing in a skip sticker as well. Just because we learned about cleaning our gun tonight, we're gonna get a sample and a sticker too. All right, so while we're waiting on everyone to enter for that, I wanna show you guys something. I came home the other day to a mail call and Breakthrough Clean sent me a nice little package. So, thank you. It says, happy holidays. And this is from Breakthrough Clean. And they sent me some nice little gifts. So, they sent a Breakthrough Clean Technologies Yeti Tumbler. How nice is that? And it also came with goodies inside. <laughs> How nice is that? And they also sent a Breakthrough Clean Technologies hat. So I just wanted to show you guys really quick this mail call. I thought it was like super nice. It is a really nice company and I will definitely be showing you guys more breakthrough stuff. So what do you guys think? Yay or nay? I like it. <laughs> but breakthrough and clean breakthrough clean technologies, really quick mail call showed up this week after work and i was super super excited so i will definitely be using my tumblr and the goodies that are inside and my hat too <laughs> all right so everyone has entered for the breakthrough clean sample giveaway So we will be picking a winner now. So I thought I turned my phone on do not disturb guys, but I did not and I apologize.
All right, so let me get the winter, the winner for tonight. The winner for tonight is E Squad for the Breakthrough Clean Technologies giveaway. So congratulations to E Squad. Here is your gift. And I just need you to send me an email or a message on social media. My email is skipstacticalsolutions at gmail.com. And my social media is Facebook and Instagram. And it is Skip's Tactical Solutions. So congratulations. And I want to announce another giveaway winner. So really quick, I'm going to do the Instagram giveaway winner. And the winner of that is All right, so Instagram giveaway. It was sponsored by Tampa Sarah Coat Facility. Thank you so much. And Zafiri Precision, they do some phenomenal work. It was a barrel and a slide. And drum roll, the winner for it is, oh my God, it just closed. Give me a second, guys. His name is Big J for you. So Big J for you is the winner of Tampa Therico facility and Zafir Precision Barrel Giveaway. So please send me a message. You can send me a Instagram DM. Thank you so much, West Coast Dabs, and have a happy holiday. Make sure that you send me a message so that I can get this shipped out to you. Everyone who wants something, I'm trying to ship this out to you guys tomorrow. I had a very busy week last week and I was not able to ship things out. So make sure that you send me a message so that I can get it shipped out. And I have another giveaway that I'm doing here in a second, guys. So please stick around. If you're looking for a gift for the holidays for yourself or for someone else, this is a great gift. And there's also just the cleaning products if you need it. If you need the solvent, if you need, <laughs> we have the solvent, we have the lubricant, and we have the oil as well. So make sure that you check it out. The links for the products are in the live. And if you are not watching the live, I will also post those links below so that you can check out the products. Next winner, sorry, the winner for the Instagram giveaway is Big J8 for you, okay? Big J8 for you. And please send me a message so that I can get this shipped out to you. Congratulations and thank you so much to each and every person who entered. And I want you guys to know that the giveaways are not over for the year. You guys hear that? They are not over for the year. So I will be working on a couple of other giveaways. And sorry, guys. I want to show you guys a couple of other things that you can grab for the holidays. If you're a Patreon supporter, Make sure that you check over on Patreon because I will be giving away a Tumblr. And if you want to grab your very own Tumblr, you can go to the website, which is skipsagicalsolutions.com. And I have the black Tumblrs, and they're awesome. But then I also have the red Tumblrs as well. 
And no, they're not Yeti. <laughs> These are the red tumblers. So the red tumblers are glossy. And the black tumblers are matte. All right. So if you want a tumbler, make sure that you go and grab them. And if you're a Patreon supporter, head over to Patreon within the next day or two and make sure you enter to get your very own Tumblr too. All right, the next thing I want to announce is the winner from last week's video. So after last week's video, I said, make sure that you comment below so that you can be entered to win. And the prize was a Glock calendar for 2020. And it was also a sticker pack. And the winner for that is JD957272. So JD957272. 272. This is all yours. So make sure that you send me a message and claim your gift because you are a winner. All right. So it's this and also our sticker pack. And every single person that wants a sticker for the next week, I will ship you out a sticker. So all you have to do is send me a message and let me know what sticker you would like and I will show you a sticker because I so I extremely, extremely appreciate each and every one of you. So send me a message saying that you want a sticker in your address and I will ship one out to you. And there are a couple of different um, versions of the stickers. So let me know which ones you guys want and I will ship them out to you. I saw earlier someone said they wanted one for their safe. So make sure that you guys send me a message and we will get this out to you. I know I do have another giveaway coming up soon. Wallace made a phenomenal holster for me. And actually it wasn't for me. It's for someone to win and it has my logo on it. So Wallace Tucker, he is here on the live stream tonight. So thank you so much. That will be coming out soon, guys. So if you would like a skip sticker, please reach out and I will give you I will get one sent out to you. I do have a couple of people who reach out and ask about stickers. But here are I think there's three different versions of the stickers. I think right now I only have two of the different versions right here, but there are three different versions and you guys can reach out. Let me know which one you want. And that holidays to you all showing you how much I appreciate you. Oh, here's the other version. So there's this one that just says skip tactical solutions. And then there's this one that has the, Firearm training and accessories on there. And then there's this one with just the big logo on it. See the logo is smaller here. It's bigger there. Let me know which one you want and I will get it shipped out. Hi, Leah. Thanks for joining. And... I wanted to know what you guys think about the, what is it called? I just drew a blank. Oh, about the live streams. Planning on canceling the live streams because it will be a lot harder for me to do the live streams without me being able to show firearms on the screen and show you guys how to do things like that. So if you have any feedback on that, I do plan on canceling them unless you guys can think of something different. And 
Don't leave tonight though, because I do have one more giveaway for you. <laughs> and I also wanted to see how you guys are doing. Oh, and I, I wanted to let you know that I have the Glock 44 here now. I have the Glock 44 here. So I will be going to the range and testing it out and I will be doing a video on the Glock 44. It just so happens that I can't show you on the screen now, but I'm super excited because I have it and I will be able to test it. I did shoot it while I was at Glock and I did like it, but I also will be, so if you don't know, I do have two kids and I will also be showing my kids shooting it as well because the Glock 22, sorry, not the Glock 22, the Glock 44 is a 22 caliber and it will definitely be helpful for kids and people who may be newer to shooting, all right? So it is awesome. Um, so the thing with YouTube now is when it comes to live streams, you cannot show any firearms in a live stream video. So they still will allow you to show a video, like it would have to be a video that is not live with a firearm, but it just makes it so much harder for the live streams because my live streams, I try to be very educational with them and teach you guys things. But tonight we talked about cleaning a firearm and it would have been so nice to be able to actually show you like me breaking down a firearm and you being able to see the different parts of the gun cleaning. And for the people who don't really know a lot about guns, it's nice to do it live because people can ask me questions and I can interact with them real time versus them having to wait to, for me to reply to a comment. So I make sure that I take time out of my week to sit here with you all and answer your questions one-on-one. -on -one. But when it comes to throughout the week, and I still have a full-time job, it gets hard sometimes for me to respond to comments and do everything else and live my real life and go to my job. <laughs> so I do try to take this time out so that you guys can interact with me and get answers. And you also are able to interact with different people. Some of these people you would probably never really meet across the internet, but we're all here. We have some common things that we're interested in and we get to learn together. So that's nice. Um, I will still be doing my regular videos. And if you don't know, I do have a podcast as well. But as far as the live streams, I may have to stop them because it may be harder. And I think it's a little bit harder for people to understand things when they can't see them. But definitely let me know what you guys think. So could you cut to a video? Turn, turn it alive or is it? Um, I'm not really sure on some of the other things, but I do know there um, when it comes to firearms, they're really they're harder on firearms. I know when it comes to monetized videos, it's harder and the reach is harder as well. So for firearms enthusiasts, it's really important that you all help share our content because we really don't have that organic reach just because it seems like the second amendment is under attack. So you have to help us get the message out and you could hit the share button on this video. And let me see if I can pull it up really quick and show you guys. So when you're watching a video on YouTube, I don't know if you all know this, but you can actually share the video. And when you share the video, you can share it via text message. You can share it lots of different ways. So do you all know that you can share a video? And all you have to do is under, you'll see share, click that and you can share it. This is really hard. 
<laughs> and you can share it all these different ways, all right? So you can email it to someone, you can send it on Facebook Messenger, you can actually text it to someone or tweet it. So if you guys do that, I really, really appreciate it. And if you guys tag me, I always try to give you guys a shout out and let you know that I appreciate it. But make sure that you do that. Um, I'm on a panel. Yeah, it's really hard because a lot of people like to see guns. And I mean, we also want to show you guns and different things about them. But yeah, it's going to be hard. You don't have to tag me, but thank you so much for sharing it. Michael said, share to, hashtag, share to Facebook. And when it comes to Virginia, I just feel like, you know, a lot of these things are really sad that we're having to fight these fights, but that's where we all have to come in and support it and keep pushing the information out there. Because if we don't share these things, then people don't rally behind it. And that's how some of these things start to happen and we're like, oh my God, how did that happen? But no one really helped fight it. But I, excuse me. Thank you, Leah. Uh, Scuba Tech ATL said, how did it go in Georgia last week? Uh, I think I talked about it on my last live stream, but I'm all like smiley. So last week in Georgia, it was very, very nice. It was a humbling experience for me. Um, I was just very surprised, not surprised. I don't know. It, I was there and just to see the announcement, just to be there and interact with the company. Like, so every company has people behind the company and I've been connected with Glock for a little bit as a armor because I've been to a few of their classes. So I've been to, I want to say my first class was maybe seven years ago, possibly going on eight years ago. So I've met some of the instructors and then you meet some of the other people and I've had a tour of their factory, but it was nice to be at the launch and then go to the range. And let me tell you guys a little hack on some of these like range things with these companies. It's so nice to go and not have to load your ammo. <laughs> you don't have to load the magazines like they're there loading it for you. And it is nice. So it's the little things, little things. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, um, I was able to shoot the 44. And I was able to meet a lot of different people. I saw Sooch, he's always so nice. And I met a other couple people there and Girl in a Gun, I met them. And I received my Glock 44 on Monday. Yeah, I received mine, it shipped in on Monday. And I will definitely be getting out and doing a review on it. And I will be giving my honest feedback on it. But this time, I think it's going to be nice because I'm going to try to, I don't know if my, so I think my youngest is going to help me with this video, but I'm not sure if he's going to want to show his face. So if he doesn't want to show his face, that's fine. But we're definitely going to get some little hands in there so that you all will be able to see. I have a 10 year old and I also have a. 13 year old who I doubt will ever come in a video. Um, but yeah, we will be getting that out soon. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And then something else that I want to ask you guys is obviously this is probably the last live stream of 2019. We're going into 2020. Super excited for that. But what are some things that you would like to see from me in 2020? I definitely want to do the things that you all want me to do. And I just need to hear that directly from you. And if you guys want to send me a message and let me know what some things that you want, I definitely want to hear from you. And I ask this often. 
And if you don't hear me ask it, just still send in your wants and wishes, or if there's a certain topic that you would like for me to cover, there's things that I want to cover. And then there's things sometimes that I know that I really don't see people talking about that I know needs to be talked about. Michael said, I never wanted a Glock, but my wife shoots a 17 and liked it. <laughs> I like the reliability of them, to be honest. <laughs> so if you guys have any topics that you want me to talk about, please drop those below so that I can see them. And then another thing is there's like, I think it's 31 days until SHOT Show. 31 days until SHOT Show, guys. I will be at SHOT Show this year. And I think I, I don't know if I kicked out videos. No, I don't think I did any videos from SHOT Show this year. So this year will be videos from SHOT Show. And if there is a company that you would like for me to do a booth review or go check out, please let me know and I will add that to my list. But I'm really excited, guys, because I will be at SHOT Show and I will have someone there with me and they will be able to help me out. So last year I went and it was just kind of me on my lonesome trying to figure it out and trying to get some booth interviews for you all. And this year, yeah, it's going to be legit. And I will also be at the, I think it's called Industry Day, Range Day, whatever it is. I'll be at the range day, so I'll be able to get my hands on some of the new things that are coming out, and I'll be bringing them to you. Shaw Show is in Las Vegas. I think it starts on January. Well, I think range day is on January the 19th or 20th. One of those days. But I will definitely be bringing you guys a lot. If you you have questions, please reach out. Check it out, all right? So, Shot Show starts on the 20th, I think. And we will be in Vegas and we'll be there all week long. And I'm super excited. Super excited. Michael said, have you shot a Canik yet? Have I? They're my favorite. They're absolutely my favorite. I talk about them often. And I was in, last week when I was in Vegas, I wanted to kind of meet up with some of, I know I do have a couple of people that support me in Vegas and I did want to kind of meet up, but that was like the quickest trip in the world. And I wanted to get as much done with Glock while I was there. So I was not able to do that. But I do have a lot of people requesting for me to come to the Vegas, not Vegas, sorry, to the Atlanta area to do a class. So if you're interested in me doing a class, sorry, if you're interested in me doing a class in the Atlanta area, please reach out because I will definitely be there. And what else? I'm super excited for Shot Show though, guys. I'm super excited. I will be checking out all the companies and I will be doing booth reviews and you have to come to my channel. And like I said, now my channel's monetized. I'm super excited about that too because it would not be monetized without you all, all right? So please share the videos. If there's someone that you know that may like the channel, please send it to them. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I try my best to do giveaways because I like to give incentives to people for learning because some people really learn that way and they get really excited about that. So I appreciate you. If you want a sticker, please reach out and I will ship a sticker out to you. And I do have one more giveaway for you all. Oh, thank you, Richard. Richard said, I will follow you no matter where. Thank you. And you're on drag and drop the dates for the shot show.
Sorry, guys. Um, JH said, I own a Canon TP9 SFX. It's, I do too, and I love mine. And Philip said, what is your favorite pistol? I have to say it is my Canic Elite. I love my Canic. And a lot of people do not know about Canic, but I love my Canics. And I don't know if I've done a video, like a review video on them, but I've talked about them a lot on the live streams. And I should do a... I do have the new subcompact and I should do a video on that. I'm going to get on that. Um, scuba tech said I'm tired. Um, I don't. So if you guys follow me on social media, you'll probably notice that I'm not very. I haven't been very active on social media recently. Um, my schedule has my full time job schedule has changed. So. I'm sorry, guys. So my sleeping schedule has changed. And yeah, so I'm very tired and I've been working a lot of hours. <laughs> and I'm sorry that I'm I'm yawning on the live, but I have to make sure that I show up for you guys. And Canics are so I see we have quite a few Canic fans on here. JH, I do agree that they are very budget friendly. That's one thing that I really like about them because I'm all about not spending all of your money. And then if you spend all your money on a firearm, then you're not going to be able to afford the accessories possibly. And then you're also possibly not going to be able to afford the classes. And that is very, very important. Like it's not just, you can have the coolest product in the world, but if you don't know how to safely use it, then it's pretty much useless to you. And Another thing that I want to talk about is, so I have a few people asking about me traveling. I do travel. So if you're interested in having me come to your area, please reach out. Just know the only thing that it's going to include is obviously travel will have to be paid for. And then it will just depend on what classes you're interested in. But I can teach pistol, rifle, whatever, and I'm really excited because I have a lot of things that are coming down and that I'm working on. So if you are interested in having a class in your area, please reach out. I know I've had a couple people reach out. Well, it's been some in the Atlanta area. I've had some up north. Sorry. And then the Texas area, I've had quite a few people reach out there and then the Miami area. So the closer that the class is to me, obviously the less expenses will be when it comes to traveling. But yes, the option is out there. I do travel and in 2020, I do want to do more things with instructors. So for those of you who don't know, I have been an instructor for, well, now it's 11 years. I should have did like an anniversary. <laughs> 11 years I've been an instructor. So I love what I do. I love teaching each and every one of you. And I also learn, I love learning from you all. So I do have new instructors that reach out to me and I want to do more with newer instructors and even instructors that aren't new too. So I kind of want to do some of that in the new year and I will be working on lots of cool things. I have my goals for 2020. Uh, you have your goals for 2020. And I can promise you 2020, I will have my bachelor's degree. That is another thing that I'm working on for 2020. So 2020 will be great for all of us. It will start out with a phenomenal shot show. We will get lots of content for you and make sure you reach out and let us know what type of content. I know last year, some people would message me on Instagram or Facebook while I was at shot show. And Another thing about SHOT Show is if you've never been, just know that inside of the area, I guess you can call it, like once you get into the show, the service is horrible. <laughs> and they have Wi-Fi in there, but when it comes to being on the floor and making the most of your time, like for me, I was not really able to be on my phone a lot. And then plus the service wasn't really that good. So it's best uh, that you guys try to communicate earlier. But if you do communicate things afterwards, excuse me, once I'm there, I will get to it and I will try my best. But I try to make a plan when it comes to that. 
because if you've never been, it's huge. It is huge. <laughs> yeah. So it's thousands and thousands of steps a day. I think I averaged probably about 15,000 steps every day when I was at SHOT Show, at least 15,000. It was a lot. But um, Antoine said, my goals for 2020, buy more guns. That's also a great goal. And if you guys are purchasing things, I would love for you to use my affiliate links. Just know when you use my affiliate links, it does not cost you any more money. You're not paying anything additional. Whoever you are purchasing it with, they will give me a very small commission from it. So if it is, let's say, for instance, Palmetto State Armory, then they will give me a small commission from your purchase. So all you have to do is use the link. If you're following me on social media, those links are on my social media. And once you click on the link, then you're good. You just have to make sure that you click on my link. And another thing that I want you guys to really think about for 2020 is I think my last live video was about USCCA. I am now an affiliate with USCCA and I would love it if you guys would definitely consider getting it. And if you would like to use my link when you sign up for it, I will get a small commission from that as well. But that's something that if you do not have it, I will definitely, definitely want you to add that to your list of goals for 2020. Because if you are caring, if you are actively trying to protect yourself, that's another tool that you need for your toolbox. Okay. So once you decide to embark in that lifestyle, then you want to add that to your list of things that you're purchasing. And the moment that you purchase it, it is um, started. So you don't have to wait, say, seven days, like flood insurance or other types of insurance. There's a certain amount of days where it's going to take for that policy to start. But when it comes to this, it does not. And that makes it phenomenal. But I am an affiliate for USCCA. I just recently became an affiliate for them because I believe in their products. So there's a few companies that I am affiliated with. I'm affiliated with, I'm going to forget someone, but USCCA is my most recent one. Um, I'm also affiliated with Palmetto State Armory, Air Precision, Sportsman's Guide, and Brownells. Um, I'm an Amazon affiliate as well. So if you guys are purchasing from Amazon, which I know all of you are purchasing something from Amazon, please use my Amazon link. And it's in the description of all of my videos. And it's um, in the link with all of my other links. I'm sorry, it's in the description with all of my other links. So I would love for you to do that because that helps with things such as SHOT Show. So SHOT Show, I had to pay for everything out of my pocket, which included and my Patreon supporters help with this as well. Um, I had to pay for my hotel. I had to pay for my entry in the SHOT Show. And then also had to get a rental for SHOT Show. Oh, and then my plane tickets. So that was a lot. And I also had to pay for someone to come with me to help me as far as recording my content and hauling all of my stuff around because. I'm only one person and I can't do it all. So one day I will have a team that can help me do these types of things. But until then, yes. So last giveaway for tonight. Do you guys have any questions for me? Michael said, grab some stickers and other swag from SHOT Show for a giveaway later. That is a great idea. I did do that some. I didn't I didn't want to be like some people. Some people are grabbing like a whole bunch of stuff. I didn't really do that, but I did grab quite a few things. And I do have, I do still have some of them. I want to make a, like a sticker wall, a patch wall, not a sticker wall, a patch wall so that I can put up different patches that I've received. I got to find one of those though. So if you guys know where I can get one of those, let me know. But this last giveaway is, oh. Scuba. Let me go check it out. I'm sorry. Hi, Chris and Armament. Thanks for joining. And if you guys haven't hit the thumbs up, make sure that you hit the thumbs up.
Michael, I just saw your comment saying you want the subcompact really bad. I got it and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, Scuba, when it comes to your question, what exactly are you saying? Which one do I prefer out of all of those or price wise? Oh, Michael, I have to check that out. All right, Scuba, so I'm going to wait for you to send me more details on your question. And while I'm doing that, so this will probably be the last live, like I said. And so I want to give you guys quite a few giveaways, telling you guys happy holidays. And first thing is this CMC triggers flag. So it's a pretty nice size flag. This is a CMC koozie. Do you guys use koozies anymore? Um, Rodney said, got my first CMC the other day. Which one did you get and do you like it? A CMC hat? And I think this is like the cutest little thing ever. Okay, so I probably shouldn't say the cutest little thing ever, but I thought this was so cute and I had to, I wanted to keep it, but this is going to be my final giveaway for 2020 but guys check this out a little cmc flask look at that isn't that just so cute okay so i probably shouldn't say cute All right, so all you have to do is type in CMC in the comments below if you would like to win this little swag set. And obviously, you guys always know I throw in some extra little goodies in there, some stickers and such. So I think this is really cute. And like I said, for the Patreon supporters, make sure that within the next couple of days you head over to Patreon because you guys will have your own giveaway because you support me on Patreon. So you guys can support me on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. And my Patreon supporters have their very own giveaway every single month. Excuse me. All right, so let me go back up to while well, you guys are commenting. So keep commenting if you want to win. Well, you don't have to keep commenting, but make sure that you comment. Um, so Scuba said, I consider the Palmetto seven and a half, 15, 300 pistol, but I don't sprinkle free flow handguard. So for those, it's going to really depend on your price point that you're looking to spend because they're all in different um, price brackets. But um, if you have the money and you can spend it on the Daniel Defense, then that would be, I guess, the 
better, not really the best, but kind of the best out of all of those. But it does really depend on what your budget is. And a lot of the the guns that I get are, um, I'm reading your guys' CMC comments, so I was about to say CMC. But I definitely use a lot of Palmetto State Armory and Aero Precision. It's a better cheap alternative to real patch. Hmm. I'm, I would have never thought carpet. Yeah, Daniel Defense sees my budget too. Um, Michael, you said you're starting your very first air bill. What are you what products are you using? Um, Philip said, Do you own any Glocks? Yes, I do own a few Glocks. Uh, the Glock 43 used to be my main everyday carry for a while. And then some other guns started coming out and kind of changed my mind. But sometimes I do still carry my Glock 43. Built a cat. Yes, I am tired. Marv, hello. Thank you so much for joining. You are late. All right, so did everybody that wanted to be entered to win the CMC enter? I really like this. Oh, and then I forgot to add, there was something else with that. With that giveaway. Some CMC sunglasses with CMC on the side. Yes, yeah, good. But I, I definitely wouldn't go to the top of your budget. But get something that you feel like it's going to be reliable. So this CMC swag, this one's a big one. Thanks for sharing that, G-Web. So again, this... Um, CMC swag is going to be CMC hat and then the CMC flag and then you have the CMC flask with a koozie and some nice little CMC sunglasses. How nice were they to send us this? And the winner for that is... Michael Stan. And if you guys have ever wondered how I pick the winners, I just do um, random comment generator. <laughs> All right, and Michael, make sure that you reach out so that you can get this shipped out to you. Thank you so much to everybody who entered. And if you did not win, make sure that you check out more videos because I do a lot of giveaways. This one, I think I announced like 
three or four giveaways. Congratulations to all of you on social media. I will be having some giveaways come up soon. Um, holiday season, that type of thing. Make sure you check it out. I do have a couple of big things that I do need to give away. And I hope that you all have a very, very happy and safe holiday season. This is the time where I want you guys to really sit down and take time with your family. Take a knee if you need to. I know you've all worked so very hard this entire year. I know I have, and I'm ready for a little bit of downtime. Um, Michael, you can send your info to me via email, which is skivstacticalsolutions at gmail.com, or you can send it to me on social media. And you can just send me DM if you like to. But you guys are phenomenal. Thank you so much for tuning in every Thursday. We have only missed a few Thursdays for the Talk To Me Thursdays. And now YouTube wants to throw a wrench in our plans. And we're just going to have to figure out what else we can do for the lives since we can no longer show firearms on the lives. And if you guys have any ideas for the lives, please let me know. I just know sometimes they're not as, I guess, fun when we're not showing firearms and you guys can't see those types of things. But I would love for you to check out the website. If you are looking to purchase anything for the holiday season, I have concealed carry bags, I have cleaning products, I have skip swag, you can get your tumblers, you can get your shirts. I do have orders that are going out tomorrow. So you can get your skip swag, make sure that you order it. But I also have e-gift cards. So if you're looking for a e-gift card, please reach out because I have those as well. And they go directly to the person's email. All right. So you can have it emailed to you or it can be emailed to them. But I appreciate you all. Grab your skips gear. And we are getting ready for 2020 and SHOT Show. It is coming. We are registered and we are excited. And let's see what else you guys have. Make sure that you follow me on social media. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. And you can also follow me on Twitter. Sometimes I cannot post to all the platforms. So I may just post to one platform. And if you're following me somewhere, please hit the post notifications so that you can see or so you can actually receive a notification when I post so that you will be able to get all the info, all right? You are not seeing all of my posts probably because the organic reach is not good, but Antoine said, when are you releasing Skip Hoodies? So about the Skip Hoodies, um, I actually need to see which one people prefer. And once I can see which one everyone prefers, then I will definitely release the hoodies. I was wearing my hoodies there for a while. It got pretty cool. It was in like the 50s here, guys. It was in the 50s. And I was wearing my hoodie. And then I was like, man, everybody else has already been wearing their hoodie. <laughs> so I'm a little late to the game for the hoodies. Okay, so I'm a lot late to the game for the hoodies. But if you like the... I had on the gray hoodie. So I think if you look back two videos, you'll actually see me wearing a hoodie in the video. And I don't think I shared the red one, but I may take a couple of photos and show you guys the couple of different options that I have. And then you can vote and let me know which one you would like. And then I can definitely get them out there so that you can get them ordered. I do have Skibs t-shirts that you guys can order if you like to, but it's in the minus where I live. I'm sorry. Yeah, it definitely got kind of cool here. And I liked wearing my hoodie. And so today I was going to wear my hoodie. I'm like, okay. So I have a gray hoodie and black hoodie. And I was like, okay, so I'm going to wear my black hoodie. And then I went outside and it was like 72 degrees and I could not wear a hoodie. It was too warm for that. 
<laughs> but yes, guys, I, I enjoy coming live with you all. I do appreciate every single person that shows up. I know that there are quite a few of you who may be new to me, but there are quite a few of you who have showed up religiously and it means the world to me. We have um, Yarn Dragons. We have Armament and Axes. I know that Leah has showed up for a bit and Marv has showed up. I know that Marv and Yarn Dragons, both of them are Patreon supporters. And what that means is they donate monetarily to me monthly. So regardless of the amount, they donate money to me and I do appreciate it. And they donate to help me, to help support me in my pretty much content creating ability. So it helps me with purchasing programs, purchasing equipment, and also having to just get things edited and also traveling and range fees. So you guys are awesome. I know G Webs is, I'm not sure if he's still in here, but he is a Patreon supporter. And yeah, I'm not going to get sappy with you. Oh, and my mom is in here. She's a Patreon supporter too. And you guys are just awesome. And I do appreciate all of you. Um, Armin said it's supposed to be in the 40s here tomorrow. Whew. And if you guys saw so Yarn Dragon, she's posted if you're interested in becoming a Patreon supporter, she just dropped the link before. Um, Armin and Axis, there for a minute, I thought you said that you're wearing yoga pants. And I was like, what? Why are you wearing yoga pants? <laughs> So I will, Marv, I'm coming through with you for that shirt. I promise you I will. Leah said it's in the 20s in Carolina. What part of Carolina do you live in? Thank you, Michael. Armin, did you see that I'm now monetized on YouTube? Super, super exciting. Yeah, if you guys ever want to tag me on social media, please tag me. If you share my video, if you do any, if you share any of my stuff, please make sure that you tag me because I will try to, if I see it, especially if your stuff is not um, private, then I. Will give you guys what was it? it was like a year and a half in business and March will be my two years in business and it was great 20 2019 was great 2020 is going to be even better and I'm going to oh I, okay thanks I was <laughs> yarn dragon yarn drinks is looking for her skip shirt she has been a phenomenal supporter and I appreciate her more than she would ever know. But hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Every single person who won something tonight, please reach out to me so that I can get it shipped out to you. I'm making a post office run tomorrow and please add to the things that I will be taking to the post office. So I do appreciate you all. Oh, thanks so much. Um, I just received a super chat from our men in Axis. He said, Yep, and congratulations and Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Um, I was able to meet our men in Axis in person this year, which was nice. And we actually got a photo together. So thank you. And he also reminded me that he was old enough to be my father. He did that tonight. I mean, not tonight, but he did that. He reminded me that he was old enough. But hey guys, thank you so much. Oh, and also Wallace is here. Wallace is a Patreon supporter and Wallace came to my range day. He he doesn't live, he lives in the Carolinas, but he was in the area. He came out and he supported and he also made a couple products to donate to a giveaway. So I do appreciate all of you guys. Um, some of you have shown up and Wallace even took a class with me. He was in town and he came and supported and he took a class and he brought me a gift to the class. I was like, how nice is this? Like I have a student bringing me a class. I mean, bringing me a gift. It was so, so nice. I was like, oh my God, he came bearing gifts. 
<laughs> he's been a huge supporter. So I think Wallace um, heard about me from Instagram. But um, thank you. Let's see. This is Michael. Michael said, happy Christmas. Thank you so much for the $2 super chat. You're awesome. I really, really appreciate it. As you guys know, um, you guys can donate to the super chats. And I don't know how that, I think there's like super chat stickers or something like that. I don't know. I'm a newbie when it comes to being monetized and all those types of things. Um, thanks for the super chat. Don't worry about being late. Armin said, well, my daughter and Avery were born on the same exact day. So yeah. So I guess I know what that means. <laughs> yes. So thank you guys so much. I received some super chats tonight. So that's always amazing. I really appreciate it. If you guys are using any of the products that are listed below in my um, description box, I would love for you to use my links. The only other thing is if you want to use a Palmetto State Armory or an Aero, those types of companies, I cannot post those links on YouTube because YouTube is such a stickler when it comes to guns. So I can't post any of those links on YouTube, but just know if you reach out, then you can get those links. Or if you go to my Facebook page, those links will be on my Facebook page. So I'll probably do a post tomorrow with some of the links on social media so that excuse me, if you're going to get something, I would definitely appreciate it if you use those links. But thank you guys so much. Have a happy holiday. Eat lots and lots of food because I know I will. I will be working Christmas, but I want all of you to take the time out to enjoy your family. And I will see you guys next time. I can't tell you when next time will be, but I will definitely let you know when I will be coming live again. And thank you so much for tuning in to Talk To Me Thursday. I will see you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in.